Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all well. So today's video is going to be how I achieved this makeup look. So if you are interested in how I've achieved this Marilyn Monroe 1940s look, then keep watching. And if you're new around here, then welcome. My name is Kate. I do all types of videos, mum videos, um, beauty, hair, you name it, we do it. So if you like the look of what you see on my channel, then do hit that subscribe button. Okay guys, so starting off with my base, um, I have already moisturised my skin, that's already sunk in, so it's had a good half an hour to sink in. Um, so I'm just going to go in first of all with my HD NYX makeup. Um, which is obviously for under the eyes just to conceal my bags because I have really bad bags So yeah, you don't need a lot of this if you use too much You'll know about it because it won't cover as well for some reason a little goes a long way Okay, so as you can tell it doesn't make a massive difference, but it just takes the edge off just ever so slightly I've just had my hair done by my hairdresser and she's amazing. She's so good. It's ridiculous how good she is. Someone's just so ridiculously talented. Um, yeah, so that's kind of covered that. And then I'm going to go in with my, my Maybelline eraser. So I have this in 01 light. And again, just going to go in and attack that under eye um, I really struggle with my under eyes really badly they just drive me insane grab my studio sponge that I've wet down and just kind of pat it in I don't worry about it being really really thick under the eye um, because once like my foundation's on and everything it kind of like sinks in sorry I'm just looking in the mirror dog guys so I hope you guys can see what I'm doing one needs to be a bit more of a pain in the bum don't have time for that yet right okay. yeah always load up underneath my eyes just because I have to always makes me laugh when these girls are like oh I've got such bad bags under my eyes and they like put a little bit of concealer under and they're like done I wish I wish. Okay, so obviously I look a little bit of a weirdo right now, but that is because I don't have my base on. So the base I'm using today is I it's a special occasion. I'm going to my friend's um surprise baby shower. Um so I'm using my Estee Lauder um foundation because I love this stuff. It's what I used at my wedding. Um the Primark version Primark version or the, the Primark is really good as well um, but Estee Lauder is like you know that special occasion foundation that I always have but it's like I would have like the expensive foundation that you know you only use on special days or filming days or whatever so yeah just taking my Primark sponge that I again I've wet down and just patting that onto my face. I was actually planning on doing my base before this video, but I just did not have time. I was like doing my nails and I was like, oh my god. One kept like chipping, so I was having to like take it off. And again, it's one of these really muggy days again today. Um, you know, and you're just like, oh normally don't mind it but today I'm just like oh I should do my head in ready because I'm just so warm Thank you. 
Now I'm going to attempt to use lashes today. Um, I always find with this makeup look that it the key is, you know, not too much eyeshadow, um, eyeliner and nice big lashes. Um, but I don't tend to use full lashes. I tend to actually use the three quarter ones just because I'm really rubbish at, well no I'm not really rubbish at lashes they just don't stick down properly I just really struggle getting them to stick properly in the corners of my eyes I think I have really like wet eyes just taking that foundation onto my lips because I am going to be wearing my red uh, lipstick and I just find that it stays a lot better if you like blot them in Okay, so that is the foundation done. So then I'm going to go in with my Last Imperfection collection. This is 1A because the 2 medium, or the 2A which is called medium, <laughs> the stick bit broke off. I couldn't get it back out, so I've just gone with a fair one for now. I haven't managed to replace either one. And then again, just take my Primark and just pat it in. And then under the eyes, I'll use my smaller, smaller sponge. I wish I could blow dry my hair like this. It's amazing, like she's just so talented. Ridiculously talented. The nicest girl as well. Like trying to do this but not overheat at the same time. Well, it's actually quite hard to do. Okay, so I think that's enough. Um, right, so then I'm just going to go in with just my brush and then my powder, which is where there it is. And I'll thicken up my powder quite a bit. I'll put a little bit of highlighter on. Oh, just to kind of like stop me looking too matte but people would watch me for a while no I like a matte matte finish I do not like any sort of dewiness it just doesn't go with me anyone else find that sometimes like the inner of your nostrils just need a little bit of base putting in there weird yes okay guys so that is very very um matte and done and yeah i'm pleased with that right eyebrows now let's get some eyebrows cooking so just taking my spoolie and just kind of moving them into place. Um, I bought, I re-bought yesterday my favourite eyebrow 
thing that I kind of use and it's really, really, like, I just don't have time in the mornings. So, yeah. So, I'm just going in with the Maybelline Brow Satin in Dark Brown. Unfortunately, they don't do one for black. Just going in and just darkening oh. eyebrows down. Oh so I should have asked my hairdresser to come for nine. Right, so then I'm going to go in with my angle brush and then my Maybelline brow tattoo. Now I actually did this in my favourites and I didn't realise that they have now taken our English brow tattoo off the shelves. You can no longer get the ones that you peel off. They now have this stuff which is great. Um, one of my friends is, is moving to America soon and... Um, I kind of was like going to be saying to him like, yeah, basically when I run out of this stuff you're going to have to buy but and send it over to me, but I'm not going to have to do that now. This stuff is amazing and it is like literally my go-to, but like I say, if I don't have time in the mornings... I just have my brow pencil like what you have just seen um, which just does the job but just isn't as well defined as like this stuff and this stuff just stays in place all day it's supposed to last two days I don't find it lasts me at all um, but that's because I'm not trying to get it to last so Okay, so just, just literally just going in there. I try and not do too much on this, you know, on these front parts here because I like them to look natural. I think that's the secret with eyebrows, isn't it? I think if you go too dark at the very front of it, it makes it, to me, it makes it look really, really unnatural. So then I'm just literally just going in without a spoolie and just pull, pulling it through like that which will just set it in place as well and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the sponge part of the brow satin and just fill in those bits at the front just to kind of make them look a little bit darker but again not too dark that you think oh oh a bit much there my love your old eyebrows I mean eyebrows are a thing now aren't they everyone loves them and they love really big bushy ones I tend to do mine quite thin um, I, that's just the way I like it though it's personal preference right okay so I my eyebrows are sorted now now I'm going to go in with my eye eyeshadow sorry right so the eyeshadows that I'm using to get the kind of Marilyn Monroe 1940s type look is you've got to have a really gorgeous light type gold um so I tend to use the Bourjois Smoky Stories gold edition quad eyeshadow palette um and as you can tell there's loads of different colors on there um, but I'm going to go in with a matte shade on my crease first of all. Um, so let me pick my matte. So I'm taking my matte shade from La Palette Beige, which is L'Oreal. And I'm just going to go in just with this one here, um, which is a really, really light brown. Um, and it should just darken that up ever so slightly. Um, hey Google, what's the time? 
It's 10.21. Okay, so all I'm doing is I'm just going in with my UBU, UBU brush, which again I got from Superdrug many years ago. It was in a pack of like four for eyes. And I don't even know if they sell it anymore, but this brush is amazing. Absolutely amazing. So I'm just darkening that down. Um, but it's not really, really dark, as you can most probably tell. Um, God, I'm warm. I'm so warm. It's so warm. That's having my son. I'm just constantly hot all of the time. And my son is two in September. Just never ever recovered from it. Okay, so just darkened those eyes down just a little bit. Now I'm gonna go in with, I've got my trusty, um, body shop eyeshadow brush which I have had oh god I've had this for so long about seven years eight years ten years I don't know really really long I'm gonna go in with this one here um and just pat it onto the eyelid like like so I love these eyeshadows because they are so pigmented ridiculously pigmented and like I say you don't want your eyes to be really really dark in eyeshadow because you're going to go in with that bright red lip which is just so beautiful this is the look that I had for my wedding I didn't do my makeup myself my bridesmaid who is a beauty um like she's a beautician but she's like ridiculously talented at makeup she did my eyes for me because I had like <laughs> I had a makeup trial with like a wedding person and it was awful. I, I looked like Corella Deville. I don't know what happened, but right. I'm just gonna go in with the second gold, um, just there, and just literally just just pat that on just just to make it just look a little bit more. So she did on this the other way. Right, so as you can tell, that's that. Right, so now I'm just going to go in again with my UBU brush and just blend all that together. And then just take a little bit more of the matte shade and just go in there. Right guys, I've just gone in just with this matte brownie shade here and I've literally just padded those corners just ever so slightly to, just to make it look ever so slightly darker but not by a lot because again, we don't want it to be too dramatic. Right, so I'm happy with that. Right, now I'm going to go in with my eye pencil. Now, this is Pure Espresso 102 and it is... I don't even know who it's by. I don't even know where I got this from. Um, but I'm just going. I find that this eye this um, eyeliner is great because it's really, really pigmented. And I'm just doing my. Like the waterline above my eyelashes. Because it just darkens it slightly. Um, right, then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline White um, Eyeliner 
and just pop that on the waterline. I just find that this makes your eyes look really open, really big and really a lot less tired as well. When you're a mum you appreciate things like that. Okay so Right, I'm going to go in now with the dark brown at the bottom of the palette and I'm just going to go literally under my eyes here just to darken them ever so slightly. Um, hey Google, what's the time? It's 10.27. Okay, like so. So I've just darkened that ever so slightly. And I'm going in with my UBU um, brush that is just like to just kind of like thingy them in a little bit more. And there we go. Right. Oh my god, I'm boiling. <laughs> okay, so eyelash colour time. I'm going to go in with different... Am I going to go with different thingy? Oh my god, I'm so hot. Okay, so the mascara that I'm using today, I need volume, so I'm going to be going in with the uh, out of breath the l'oreal voluminous lash paradise this stuff is fantastic the only downside to this mascara is it dries out really quickly and i don't like that l'oreal it needs to last more than a month um but yeah so right okay i'm boiling oh god right okay so Popping it on, trying to be as careful as possible because I do not want to get any transfer above. Giving it a little shake just to get that product on as thickly as possible. This is the best volume mascara. I've recently been using the Benefit Roller Lash though. Okay, so okay, so that is one coat. Go in with the other eye whilst that's drying. Amazing. I've not used this mascara in quite a while because obviously I've been using the roller lash and it is bloody brilliant. So good guys. going in with that second coat just like I say just building it and building it and building it oh my god I love this mascara I'll be back using this mascara again okay so I haven't done my eyeliner 
and the reason for that is because I'm going to be putting three quarter lashes on so once I put the three quarter lashes on I'll do the eyeliner on top of it if that makes sense and um, just because I don't want to kind of put three quarter lashes on and they don't stick properly and then like my eyeliner is kind of like ruined girls who use his lashes will kind of know what I mean I don't use lashes a lot I only use lashes at special occasions I don't wear them during the day I don't even wear them for filming and um, just because I actually find that I get really really dry like I get dry patches where the glue has been so I think I'm s I'm slightly ever so slightly allergic Um, I used a lot of eyelashes in the run up to my wedding because I had to trial loads of different ones so I'd like obviously trial them and I was using a lot more lash glue and lashes and stuff than I normally would and my lashes like I say my my eyes by by the time my wedding was done my eyes were just so not happy so I definitely couldn't wear lashes every day they just they do not work with me and I'm really hoping I can use these lashes sometimes I always have that fear that they're not going to go on right and they're not going to look good and to be fair this mascara is good enough that I don't really need them but I'm going to still do it because I want to have eyelashes on today because it's a special occasion I wonder whether my friend has any sort of idea I'm sure she doesn't right okay so I'm gonna go in with my Eyelore Fleur de Force Fleur Loves three quarter lashes these are amazing if you're wanting something to make your eyes just look fanned out and everyone to go god your eyelashes look amazing and this these are fantastic um i didn't use these for my wedding because they weren't dramatic enough i needed them a little bit more dramatic for my pictures um but a day-to-day -day eyelash they really are amazing and like i said i just don't like the fact that i can't do the corners okay so right this is the right one so first of all just make sure any sort of glue that was on there gets pulled off without damaging the lash i would have got new ones guys but i've been working four days straight and i've just not had time and they don't sell them in supermarkets it's just boots and yeah i just didn't have time i was just working um right so i am going to i've got my um tweezer at the ready and then I'm just literally going to go in with the Eyelor Lash Adhesive. I normally use the Duo Strip Lash. I don't actually know where that is. Um, I think it's downstairs. But I'm not going to go start rummaging now. I don't have time. I'm like so up against it right now. As I always am. I always am. Okay, so yeah. So the secret with lashes obviously is to let the glue get tacky before sticking them on. I find this part really hard because I just want to get them stuck on because I get quite like quite nervous about putting eyelashes on because I just think oh god are they going to go on are they going to ping off are they going to ruin my eye makeup and um, that can happen and um, so yeah so make sure that's all done yeah that's all nice and filled so we'll just leave them there and um, so I'm just going to whack these on and then contour my face, put a little bit of blusher on. I don't like to put too much blusher on with this kind of makeup. Um, more kind of a bronzy look um, than anything else. And then obviously go in with my favourite lipstick and the red lipstick that everyone should own. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to do that. But just waiting for this to go a bit tacky. Right, this should be alright now. So, right. Okay, this is going to be tricky showing you guys how I do it so i grab i grab my eyelash and i grab my tweezer and then obviously these are three quarter lashes so they go to middle to end of your eye you don't go anywhere near the corner which i love because i'm rubbish at sticking the corners down okay so you kind of like have to obviously do <laughs> a very funny face
Okay, so that is stuck down now. Okay, so the secret with the three quarter lashes is you kind of have to like manipulate the lashes that are in these corners here and obviously put a little bit more, more mascara on as well. I'm just going to go in with my Perfect Slim L'Oreal by Superliner. It's in carbon black and I'm just... Then I'm going to take my mascara, so I've just done my eyeliner there. So as you can tell, they just give your eyes just a little bit more definition. I'm going to be honest with you, I wish I'd not bothered um, because I think these lashes are just a little bit too old um, and they've have been used a lot. Um, but it's one of those things where I've done it now so I've got to kind of do it. <laughs> just do it. doesn't matter. But yeah. Okay, so that eyelash, believe it or not, has gone better than the other one, which is normally the other way around. Right, so I'm going to go in again with my super liner. And just go in with my mascara again. And there we go. So those are the eyes. Right, quick contour. Now... So take in my Real Techniques. Um, I think it's the Buffer Brush. Contour brush, it's a contour brush. Taking my contour and highlight from collection. And then just taking that underneath to give myself more of a jawline because I seem to not have one. I don't seem to, I seem to have a weird chin thing. Okay. Okay, so the highlight just down my nose on the top of there and then also just around the eyes. As you're just going to go in with this 17 Instant Glow, the Shimmer Brick just for my cheeks I'm just whacking that on there and it's going on there with the cheeks and then just doing ever so slightly just the top one the matte cut matte kind of shade I'm just kind of going on there let's put on a little bit of colour like so and I'm gonna go in with a 
my Yumi U brush. I'm going to go in with the very, very light gold in the middle there. And I'm just popping that just on the corners of my eyes just to make me look a little bit more alert. And then I just need to go in with my highlights, whacking a little bit on my finger and just literally just popping that ever so slightly just above my eyebrow. But yeah, make sure if you're doing this step that you have nicely plucked eyebrows, otherwise it don't look that nice. Okay, so last but not least, I'm going in with my my lipstick now i swear by this stuff this is what i used for my wedding it is amazing it is the maybelline superstay 24 color and i have it in red passion um so i'm not going to go in with an eyeliner eyeliner <laughs> lip liner and i'm just going to whack this on my lips and then you've got to let it dry before putting the balm on And there we go guys that is the finished look so i've literally just popped the balm on i will include everything in the description that i have used today this like i say is my go-to i absolutely love it it's the marilyn monroe 1940s style makeup and i just think when you have pale skin light eyes and dark hair it really does it, it's just such a lovely makeup look um for anyone kind of like this or blondes as well blondes look amazing with red lipstick um but yeah so anyway i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have do give it a massive thumbs up and i'll see you in your next my next video guys thank you so much for watching